Hi everybody. So recently um, on my YouTube channel, we filmed a video where Sarah asked her audience to ask me awkward questions and I wasn't allowed to see them beforehand. Uh, I don't think I specified awkward, I just picked awkward ones. Oh, so now we're doing it, now we're doing it the other way around. <laughs> and I have asked for awkward questions. Oh, okay. Um, I've collected them, Sarah hasn't seen them. Um, to prove, to keep this authentic, I'm not editing. So, these like, are... you know, like being bro when Big Brother, when Davina McCall's like, you are now live, yeah. do not swear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just watch what you say, because there's a couple. In fact, we're going to go straight in with, um, with a fairly awkward one. Snog, marry, avoid, Alfie, Casper, Joe. Do you know what? This is really awkward, because some of my friends, I think you've, have you discussed this on videos before? Uh, we have mutual friends. So we have mutual friends. Some of... Some of my friends used to be really close um, with Joe and Casper because they lived near where I used to live. Um, I'm a bit of a hermit and I don't like partying, so I was like always asleep. I'd like come down bleary eyed in my PJs and be like, keep the noise down. Um, so when we got together, Joe was like, I recognise that girl. And I was like, right. yes, the quiet it, one in the PJs. Pure coincidence that. Um, Sarah and Joe know each other because I like Joe isn't isn't the common uh, ground between us. Like it wasn't until I met Sarah, Joe went, "Oh my god, I know Sarah." So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so anyway, that would be really weird because like some of my friends have have I won't really say dated, but they have drunkenly kissed. Um, what was it again? <laughs> Snog, marry, avoid. Oh god, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Snog, marry, avoid. Alfie, Joe, Casper. Quick, quick fire. We're already. Um, Two minutes in. Oh, I don't know. I guess avoid Alfie because now we hang out with him. That's a bit like weird okay. because I don't see Joe so nice. I'd marry him. Okay, so it's not Casper. Yeah, and then just never see him again. Interesting. Um, okay, this is <laughs> a strange one, and I only picked it because I was a bit offended by it. Is Jim a man child? No. Right. Thank you. You can't cook. No, but. But that's the only like. Thing that you're not, you're, you're actually very handy. It's not that I can't cook, I just don't love cooking, but. No, I'm, you're actually very, um, you're very good. I'm very capable, yeah. right? Thank you. Um, that was a bit of a rubbish question, Jim. That was. Well, I just wanted, wanted to, to show I just wanted, to the audience. No, I just wanted to clear the air. I don't want to think I'm a man child. Um, uh, 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 um, okay, this is a really nice one. What big goals do you want to achieve next year or in the next year? For, my, for myself, what yeah, for I you. want to achieve. Yeah, you do you. But obviously, there are my own goals. Um, I don't know, actually. Um, to move home and just have a routine. <laughs> to finally get back home. <laughs> to finally get back home and have a bit more of a routine. I think, yeah. honestly, I think like our job and our life is so kind of chaotic, but also I'm really like, I like that, I embrace it, I love what we do. I actually think so long as we get to the end of the year and everyone's happy alive. and alive <laughs> and at home. No, I think I think to just have a bit more like structure would yeah. be nice. We were saying just the other day that actually in the last, so we, we moved into that house about 18 months ago. We've actually spent, Margot in particular, spent less time in the house than out of it. Mm. Um, it's been a real labour of love uh, and throughout all of that we've had loads of work stuff going on we've been planning a wedding someone said to me the other day just have six months where you, <laughs> where you don't yeah. do a next big life event just chill for a bit um no more baby number two for a while right <laughs> i want baby number two by the way sorry i'm losing my voice if i sound really croaky um okay uh, uh um okay if younger sarah saw current sarah now would she be proud of her Oh, I hope, I hope so. I don't, I don't think that younger Sarah would like believe that this is my life. This sounds really like deep for a quick fire, awkward questions thing. But I think younger Sarah worried, I was so, I mean, I still worry now, but I was so worried, had such bad anxiety and like genuinely all younger Sarah wanted was to have a family and have a child and like unconditional love. Not you, her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't really have unconditional... I don't think you can have unconditional love with a partner. It might you might fall out of love. But anyway, yeah, I think... I never believed I could have that. And now we've got this lovely life. So I think... 
don't know that I'd be proud of myself, but I definitely would be looking, thinking like, that's an amazing I, I think you should be proud of yourself. That's really nice. Young Sarah, you should be proud of old Sarah. I do. I do have unconditional love for you. Well, you're too late. So I'm not editing. You said it now. But you are right. Like, you know, as, as long as none of us go, neither of us goes changing or murdering. Let's get quick. You're right. We're just going to edit us. Um, okay. Here's a really random one. What's your favourite element of a roast dinner? Just to, just to say, Sarah is an expert uh, roast, a uh, dinner roaster. Oh, it's got to be the potatoes. Yeah, good choice. Okay. It's got to be a that good roasty a potato. Um, okay, here's another one, actually. Um, how do you feel after your pregnancy? Because you feel, do you remember we filmed a video on my channel about um, like your, your, your skin and just sort of lots of symptoms that you had? Um, basically, just, a, just an update. Um... I think my body has mostly kind of evened out now, mostly back to normal. I don't feel as energetic as I did pre-pregnancy, but is that pregnancy or just, <laughs> yeah, having, just, a just having a baby? Um, yeah. But otherwise I feel, I feel good, but it does take a long, a long time. And I still cry at things, like really emotional. But then also I don't know if that's just having a baby, like I had inside out on and then there's like a sad bit and it shows that the child, but then they kind of, sorry, I'll make it quick. Basically there's a bit where like all the child's happiest memories were with the mum and dad. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll go. And then yeah, I got really all nice. emotional. So I think my hormones are still quite weepy. Um, maybe, maybe. You, you've always been a, like a sensitive soul, mm. you know? Um, okay, next question. What were your first impressions of me? I told you this before, you're much better looking than I well, thought you were going to be. You're not telling me, you're telling them. <laughs> much better looking than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> but, but, but anything else? I'm not, I'm not fishing, I'm just saying that was a bit of a dry answer. Well, do you know what? When we did this about me, you gave the most driest, rubbish <laughs> this answer about things that I like about Sarah. And it's like, I love so much stuff about Sarah, I can't, I can't give you an answer. There you go. My impressions were there's just so many great things about you. I just couldn't even okay. give you an answer. What? Well, but just on a, on a slight tangent, you're not like just literally yesterday. Someone said to me, "I'm better looking in real life." Does, am, I, am I really gross on camera? No, you're just better looking in real life. Some people are. I don't know. Whether, someone once told me that my ears are my best feature, and I didn't know whether to be offended or not because I was like, "Does that? If my ears are my best bit, what about the rest of me?" <laughs> Thank you. Right. How long have we been going? Oh, we've got time for two more. Um, I can't find two more. I've got loads. Now I've, I haven't done these in any order. Oh, dear. So now I'm really... Uh, uh, okay. What uh, has surprised you about becoming a mum? Oh, everyone asks this all the time. This is a good, solid question. I know. I think people ask it a lot. You get a lot of questions like, um, what surprised you the most? Or what advice would you give to a new mum? And I think... I wouldn't give... So I saw someone say this the other day and I was like, that's really good advice. And what they said was, I wouldn't give advice yeah. because everything, and like, everything surprises you. Everything is, every day is new, mm -hmm. uh, either because she's doing something new or right. like, you learn a lot about yourself, I think, yeah. and how <clears throat> patient or not patient you are or like the love that you find. And everyone does it differently as well, parenting. So I guess it's a bit of a, naff answer but my answer is just like everything surprises me and I, I wouldn't necessarily give any advice because everyone has to you have to find your own way and parent the best yeah. way that you see fit also as you'll know when you become a parent suddenly every man and their dog has advice unsolicited advice mm. unwelcome advice very often from people who have never even experienced mm. what it's like and suddenly you're like oh my god can you all just stop because you can't possibly follow two people's advice when they're giving you the opposite ends of a you know what I mean? I also, to be totally honest, sometimes I actually find it a bit like offensive. And I know it's I know that it's mal well meaning, but sometimes I think like I know it's not intended this way, but it's as if like I'm a bad mum, that it's like, that's so dangerous. How could you dare do that? And I think like I'm obviously I am obsessed with that child. I would never put her in danger like perhaps there's a reason why that has been done or I don't know word it in a way that's like quite yeah but it 
Social media, but actually, you know what? On social media, yeah, people don't necessarily think well, not about just social tone. media, like right. people's parents, not really your mum, but my mum can be, <laughs> <laughs> but they, they don't necessarily think about tone. But also, sometimes you read things because you can just write the same sentence mm. and then the way you read that, yeah. anyway. On a slight tangent, actually, you guys are really, really fantastic. I was having a conversation the other day about social media, and I think that it has become, um a more negative, more hostile place, you know, for a lot of creators out there. But I think partly because a lot of you have been watching me and now Sarah for over a decade, I, my community is a really lovely place. And every time I share Margot, I said at the beginning, I'm only going to share her um, if you respond well to her. But it's just met with nothing but joy. I like to hope that that's also because as, as you're getting older and we're older, the people that are following us are older yeah. and... You're of an age where, I mean, I'd like to think that everyone knows better, but I feel like as you get older, you think being mean to a stranger is just yeah, it's not yeah. worth it. But thank you, genuinely. I mean, it is really, really lovely. And I had a moment of reflection a few days ago because somebody was um, talking about how much hate they get. And I was like, I just don't get much. Mm -hmm. And what I get actually is the opposite. I get support and I get joy. And... You're too boring, Tate. <laughs> You said before, no, you're a man child. I'm a man, yeah. Okay, last question, because now we're at 11 minutes uh, and people just won't watch. Um, how has Sarah adjusted to the social media life? Um, or were you already familiar with it? Uh, no, I wasn't really familiar with it. And I mentioned this a bit before, when we first got together, I found it really, really hard. And there was like a lot of backlash. People were like, oh my God, Jim's got a new part. Yeah, the, the 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 weird bit for me was that actually the you. Question was directed at me. Sorry, go on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. These are your questions. You do this all the time on your. This is actually here we go. Something else I found adjusting to, you because I find it like quite shy. I didn't really like to show myself because I did get hate. So if Jim would get his camera, I'd kind of like awkwardly be in it, but not liking it. So then you'd do the majority of the talking and then now I'm actually comfortable to talk. Right. You still, you still lead. <laughs> but we all need a leader I've in just been doing it. For, I've just been doing it for so long I forget. Um, yeah, I think at the start I really hated it and I used to actually speak to a therapist about it because I was just like, I, you can't kind of help who you fall in love with and you can't help what they, who they are, what they do, that's your job, it's your career, it's like, it's but hard to... I've never made you go on. You know oh, no, 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 but... I'm not trying to make it like, Jim's never pressured me to be involved or be like in the limelight, but it is part of just you share your life. And at the start, I didn't really know what came along with it. So I was like, why, why don't you talk about me, Jim? Yeah, you... So I, I kind of pushed because right. I thought that Jim was embarrassed by me and actually you were trying to kind of shield me. D yeah. I, and I... then it opened up Pandora's box and for right. a long time I just was like I hate the internet why does everyone hate me and sometimes I still feel like there are days when even now I know this will go up and I absolutely know there will be people sat there going I hate her I hate her <laughs> we were in a coffee shop the other day and these teenage girls went really loudly that's Jim Chapman and then they went well who's that with him with the baby and this girl looked at me in the eye and she went hate you and I was like oh oh lovely and that's really hard, I think, if it's not something you're used to, to like... <laughs> to be fair, yeah. I've never had it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that it's for a lot of people that do this job and have a public persona, yeah, they yeah. eventually you just, you get a thick skin and it's hard. And it's hard to like, it's hard to put something out there knowing that there's someone for no reason, they just want to dislike you. But like you said before you have to just look at all of the good and so much good and um i actually because i know she'll watch it shout out to Liv, who is one of my best friends now and she lives around the corner to us and she we got chatting because she introduced herself basically via social media and we talk all day every day mm -hmm. she is one of my absolute closest friends and that is because of this job so, and that's just one example of all right. of the other positive things that come out of it. And you can, and so I can look and think how rubbish someone's going to be mean. That person told me they hate me in a coffee shop. Or I can think I've had the loveliest best friend out of this mm -hmm. and a lovely life. And that's kind of how I've 
You did. That's a really long-winded answer. That's a very nice <laughs> answer. So well done. Uh, I'm going to end it here because we are at 14 minutes and I'm not editing. So uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we can do more of these. Yeah, thanks for listening to us waffle. <laughs> <laughs> if you like them, let us know in the comments. Um, but until then, see you soon. Bye.